give thanks and praise. Boy, me I tell you, and them energy, they truly, yeah, man, and them energy there. First and foremost, I must give thanks and praise to the mystic law of the universe and its protective functions and forces in nature that guide our thoughts and our part in our ways that are lawful, correct, and positive. Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. Greetings, free people. Greetings, free people. Greetings, free people across the earth. I must say, salute to the Awak Indian nation, that specific set apart society. Yeah, man. Salute to the Awak network. Salute to all American Indians. Salute to all Awak Indians. Salute to all Aborigines. Salute to all indigenous people. Salute straight across the earth. <clears throat> As usual, we step out with nothing planned, nothing prearranged. You know what I mean? Uh, this is where free people, the free people usually just, you know, move according to them energy. So I said, there's a natural mystic flowing. And most people kind of miss it. Most people kind of miss it. And it can be interpreted in all different kind of ways. Yeah, man. But one of the things I like is the fact that information is so freely and readily available. Yeah, man. And that's the beauty. When a special group or a special guy can manipulize or hold hostage certain information, but in order to access them information, you have to start balance your thought. You have to try to think independently or at least autonomously. You know, I forgot to know from a university. If you attain this level, a state of capacity, all it takes are just a basic application. You become autodidactic, self taught. When audacious commercial slave will infer that they can offer you some kind of position with some kind of colonial achievement. Those things doesn't apply to free people. Your associate, your bachelor's, your master's, your PhD, it not really apply over here. Pay attention. You all with those kind of degree not have the basic information that we have for no say the elephant here is commerce. You all don't know that. Are we the common people are fair bring that to you guys? Shine in this kind of light. Because you're talking and talking and talking and ignoring that elephant, which is commerce, which is completely foreign to us. And why it's foreign? Because it's, it goes against everything we deal with nature. When we are little boy, we say TV advertisement, them say, let's take a commercial break. It's no different with YouTube when they must say, hey, let's monetize and ads. It's commercial break, commercial activity. However, it's neither here nor there. Free will is just that. We cannot interfere with people's free will. We don't mind a shine light on information. That's basically it.
for my common people here on the island, who are me and for always are taken into consideration. And when I dissolve the award network, I get a lot of links from a lot of people. I won't lie to you. I see phone call I come in more time. I just I not have time to miss a visit for really active, you know? Answer and back and forth are hear you guys. But what I would do is I send you guys the invitation when you can come across Telegram and see if you can catch up. Because I realize that uh, I just now can just walk away and leave the people in a state where they might wonder what go on. So it's like me have to always prepare some form of place. I'm not mind doing that. All we are asking the people them for know pay attention, that's all. And spend some time on the information. That's basically it. That's all the requirement. Nothing else. Nothing else. There's nothing here for sale. Everything is gift. Most people say you can't give them information. The people have to pay a lot of money and I don't disagree. But because me have my free will, me can choose to do whatever I choose to do freely. Now, when someone is audacious enough to call me for one personal this and personal that, that's something totally separate and distinct. That's something else. Because I'm quite sure when I go to Mr. E, you have to go up there with a credit card or a whole stack of money. You get me? When you go to Mr. J, you know what I mean? You have to do the same thing. When you go to any one of these people and ask the person, you have to do the same thing. So them think there's not a question, those things are not a problem. What we are talking about are freedom. Freedom of our narrative and language. And that seems to offend a lot of people. We can't relate. We cannot correspond. We absolutely not have a clue what that is. For us, it's basically simple, man. We don't need permission for act as long as we're not doing wrong. It's simple as that. And a corporate body politic or its agent or its agency cannot impose its will upon a free people, irrespective of where you choose to be. Any corporation in its capacity requires consent before it acts. And it's all about for profit. All of these corporations is known as for profit organization. It's a business. It's a commercial business. It's about money. A lot of people dance around this thing. And nothing wrong with commerce if you have function accordingly or appropriately. When we are taught the correct way of a function and navigate ourselves through commerce, it's not a problem. But as it is now, we are being, you know, say, raped. We are being scammed. It's called international piracy. But people now want to address this kind of topic because it's going to affect a lot of people where is married to commerce and probably not function but just a operate in a commerce them not function as merchant the merchant them behind the scenes would I call them the, the, the imposters the puppet masters those are the guys behind the scenes and them employ the puppets, you know what I mean, for performing their puppet show. And because most of our people are unaware, not to our own fault, because us being unaware was intentional. It's called social engineering. This is why you have some overweight guy can put up some kind of requirement colonial requirement all of these kind of degrees associate you know what I mean masters all of these things yet what form of education were you taught 
I'll tell you, it's called the Prussian form of educational system. That's what it is. You have no access to the seven liberal arts and sciences with the trivium and the quadrivium method of learning. You now have them access there. How oh, I gain them access there? Self taught. Me to apply myself. I couldn't go to Hollywood and build up one of those fake resumes. Hollywood not deal with people like me. Pay attention, people. Notice my thing. Nothing about I not come mainstream. Not even on the island here. When I hear me address the Prime Minister here, when I hear me address the entertainers here, when you hear me address anybody here, notice people. Pay attention. You never see it on mainstream. You never see a man like I am my information in any other bloggers information where they might bring forward and I, I never hear a blogger say yo check out the brethren here boy what we might talk about how work on them thing there you'd never see it but people have missed these things how long do you talk a lot of things and i show and i demonstrate and you guys are fast asleep you want a cult pastor with a lot of money a lot of sugar a straw out there for kidnap on the children on an underage little boys and on an underage little girls. That's what I really support. So when on a judgment reach, you know, all we can do is sit by and say, look at that. Is that thing new? There's nothing new under the sun. Now care how you got through history, you got to hear about people like I in the earth. We stand up to this system. Not in a rude and disrespectful way, but in a lawful way. Way. Which one of you are the Indians that step up like this? Really? Why are you guys so comfortable behind the computer screen and you now emit this kind of energy out there? It's more of a commercial setting. Why is that? I say salute to the people who choose to be free and choose to exercise those options because those are your divine right those are not just human rights 528 earth truth salute 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 yeah man those are divine rights when we talk about the universal order and the universal law. What do you think me I talk about? A divine business me I deal with, you know. Me I deal with not man-made human things. So I'm going way above what you know I bring forward. And I bring it directly. Raw. We say we heal the creator of nature. That mystic law. We always lawful. We always I deal with the law. Check all of my tips. For your bun. For your policy. Because it's the guise of law. You understand? It's color of law. And once you color anything at all, it's changed. So we stay firm with our universal order. If it's new to you guys, watch it. I bring it forward. This is we above Melchizedek order. Because the Melchizedek order, as we say how it is out there, has been corrupted because if you wanna know say the Shamites which is the son of Noah what them call Shem he is the one who is called Melchizedek he is the one who Abraham I forgive ten percent of everything to pay homage to Shem so when people say we are Hamite that is just other people opinion because it's four family an African over there, under the Bible, it named them. They get me. All of them it named the Kush, the Mizram, the Canaan, and, and what's the next one? Yeah, man. We not included in those things. But people now go share them kind of information. They have a dictionary. I don't hear people talk about those dictionary anymore. Zandavan Dictionary. People flop those kind of books in their library. This is why we say we learn from everywhere. We not just 
restrict ourselves to a specific section. If you come chat to about music, you're going to surprise for here we can tell you about music where you don't really reach that level yet. Any little topic you don't come with, we probably can have a beautiful discussion. Because this is how we are. This is what kind of people we are. So we don't need validation by a colonial accreditation for demonstrate all our we can do, all our we can be, and all our we shall become. We don't need no colonial foreign institutional stamp for say, hey, yes, we validate you, Nestorian king. That's not the way it is. It's only when you're a slave you get those kind of titles and kind of validations. No. We salute people, we apply themselves within this thing and reach levels where people would be surprised at. But it not erase the fact that we were colonized. It not erase that fact. It cannot erase that truth. And most of us are still colonized. It's just that because people are see the physical chains. You know what I mean? Them say, oh, I guess this is freedom. You have no idea or clue what freedom is. You have never experienced it in your life. It's very few people have a glimpse of it like I. And quite a few others were probably chose to stay private. And the only reason why I'm here in the public again is because the government of Jamaica choose to have me in the public so I can demonstrate to them that I do have a right to travel and I do have the inherent divine right of movement. This is not human right. These are fundamental, inherent, divine right. So now we are much up when we say I'm Nestorian king. Because I move from them kind of divine order there. It natural in my doxyribonucleic acid. It natural there. I don't have to pretend. I am not have to show off. All I have to do is just bring truth according to how I know it. And whenever I need to amend things and correct things, I stand firm and do that. And when I have to apologize, I humble myself and do that. This is who we are. Not an ego trip. Like I'm better than you. And I know more than you. We are talking about freedom. We are talking about free dominion. We are talking about free domain. Why are you guys afraid of that topic? Why you guys cannot utter those words? <laughs> anyway, we still have to give thanks. Yeah, man, for the free expression. This is where we can't stop give thanks for. When constitutional structures say you have a right to freedom of speech, listen, those things are inherent. Those things are divine right. Constitution is just in place to guarantee, to protect, and to secure those divine fundamental rights and freedom. These are no gift from the man, nor a body politic, no kind of corporation. These are divine endowment. These are divine entitlement. This is where we are. At least this is where I am. This is why I said this freely. I am he. I am he. Awa. This is I. You know me as Linton O'Neill Dallas. When my mom says she named me, she gave me two given names. She never necessarily gave me no first, middle, and last name. Because she gave me Linton O'Neill as my gift. And she attached it because I wasn't a bastard. I was never a bastard. 
So when he said Dallas, that's my genealogy. That's my father's bloodline. That's the connection. And when I attain the age of majority, that's when, by way of my energy, me attain the name Awa. Because now I can name myself. Only because I'm at the age of majority. This is how simple it is for I. We not complex this thing. No corporate construct here and tell me so them have no kind of claim on my name when me I speak like this. Are you people insane? Which court? What court? Which judge? Which resident magistrate? Which one of y'all at this level now? Which one? Not one of you when voluntarily choose to come in front of a man like me. Because going forward, it's the only because me already forgive y'all. Any and all activity shall be, be fraudulent. And when we are come, we are come with this paperwork. We're going killing it with paperwork. You get me? And we are making paperwork and put it in the places where it for go. And make it public and, and, and name some of you guys and shame some of you guys. Like traffic court clerk, James, Richard James, Ayub. Like resident magistrate, traffic court, what's her name? RM Edwards. We'll name some of you guys, man, and shame some of you guys, man. And put you under the bus and make you have to pay a lot of money. And kick you out of government service. This is how we have to approach so you guys we are move with unclean hands. It's not a game or a joke. When I make a claim, look at my house seal. My seal say I walk in their nation in America. House of Dallas, sovereign United State of Being. Official seal. So my society, I walk in their nation is there. My capacity, sovereign United State of Being. My stamp, official seal, raised. And my house being established. House of Dallas. Now, any and all juristic entity, we are going to make any claim when me I stand up on this claim with certified copy. What do you think will happen? Don't you think that will constitute fraud? All me have to do is present the certified copy and challenge you guys. That's it. In order for control or trap the strong man, this is what they had to do with us. They bind us in contract what we don't know about. Now we have to reverse engineer all of these things. And we just have them and give them all kind of rope and let them running away like a wild horse thinking, say, yes, it's, it's routine. We have done this over a million times. And then he run up in a little unorthodox man like I. We make a claim where absolutely not even the Pope in a room can rebut. Not even your Pope in a Vatican City can rebut. This Nestorian King claim. None of y'all. But you don't want to see me. Because again, you don't want to see me. If me never come up here in a... Where you call? Where you call those things? Pam, pam. And tutu and cheerleader like a big sissy. Hey, my life would have full of people. But you see, when we come out here, I say righteousness. You get me? I said truth. <laughs> yeah, man, people get afraid. People get afraid. This is why you see what people are run to some big sissified cult so-called pastors because when a man like me said you want me show you where your god is look in the mirror you want me show you where your leader is look in the mirror you guys don't like that because the guys don't want no responsibility 
You want to blame God and you want to blame the devil. You always want somebody for blame. When me I say, if you want to find your leader, look into the mirror. And when you want to find your God, look in the mirror, man. Now look nowhere else. A simple thing that. But our people are conditioned to look outside and believe, not know. Believe. You have to know something before you can put trust in a something, man. And test it. That way you can know it. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, Brad, you don't say something here, but I miss it. <laughs> Believe that the narrativeness of history. Yes, I honor my king. Salute my king. Yeah, man. Salute my lord. Bit silly. Honor my lord. Joel. Jaguar say. Yeah, man. Sis. Gratitude. Yeah, man. Yeah, we just there basically a chop it up, you know? Our style. Philosophical reasoning. Our style. Nothing misleading. Our style. Yeah, man. When you want to find your leader, man, just, just, you know, go into yourself, man. And find yourself, man. Get me, and it's gonna take time for most people. And when you want to find your God, that's the very same thing, man. But within yourself, man, take some time to yourself. Man. Why you think when people go to prison, even the righteous one them, I care what you see them do. You have some ones that when them go in a prison and get some time for really start find themselves. And when them step out and thing, you know, people will say, boy, oh, some man not change, and them man not change, but them man, the actions, I got demonstrate, say, see it here, a brand new meditation. But most of we were too distracted, we're too busy, we have so much different things to do. So a man can't even take an hour out of that day there, if you say, boy, oh, I me a whole of energy. I try to clear my mind. I try my best for not think no negative thought. You know what I mean? Let me just tell my meditation, say, just listen to the sounds, you know? We don't have no time for these things. We don't have no time for these things. We rather go in a platform where a whole bunch of other people that is presumed to be slave is there. And we keep a big power and everybody talk a lot of trash, a lot of mess. No freedom discussion. You get me? And when it's all said and done, everybody feel good and go back comfortably in them slavery. What is that? When a man like me talk, it will offend a lot. But truth is that way. It's no sin. It may be an offense. But it's no wrong. What is your purpose? To find the creator, know the creator, establish a relationship with the creator, and live according to the creator. Anything and everything else is secondary. But we have lost our way. We have fallen from that state. Where we have fair look to man and everything that is man made and say, Boy, we have find solution. We leave the swords, we move away from the swords and make some other people usurp and hijack this swords and feed with a high bird product. And this is why I say we're in this state of condition where we can't even unify ourselves. I say, where when a man like me step through certain places, it's like 
the place does start shake like it's earthquake uh, hour there you now. And people start shiver and shake and get afraid. And me I say, I want to go on. My presence not to emit them kind of fear. Yeah? Why is that? That means some me have to go easy and start stay out of certain people place. Because I don't want them just, you know, I live in a fear. We have to learn how to move fear. And when we see strong people are step forward, we can embrace strength. It's because we don't know strength. Make you say we oppose strength. When we don't know truth, we oppose truth. <laughs> but truth remain consistent. Just like our, our freedom, our free dominion, and our freedom men. So I say, any one of you guys wanna like this kind of presentment, this kind of statement, watch me now. This is what we have to say to you guys. Gratitude, salute, all when he is a sissy. I man we salute the divinity within you. Cause you couldn't exist without that divine spark. I know that. I care what kind of evil you know, think and thought. You know, still can't function without that divine spark. So that's all we have to salute. You know, you know? So when I call you know, some names and things, I feel like I'm one of them homophobic. Death. No man, I just don't mind to the truth. But me now go see you as a big body boy and turn my rifle upon you. That a hit. And that's a my thing there. No. I just know say boy, you choose your life and if you live your life a certain kind of way, it now go affect me and it now go be no problem to me. And I go respect you and your choice. But when you bring your nastiness in front of a man like me, I go burn you, I go run you, and I go shun you. This is who we are as a people. In a them style that we have. After we not hate around here. But that no means that we don't know how to hate. After we not war around here. But that no means that we don't know how to war. We say love. And we know how to love. But we don't want some loving where and a love. We don't want lust. Or some sissy fighting on a man. Loss. Now one of hear a man like me say love on a mistake it for loss and play games like some sissy. But put fire upon them energy them. A truth we are dealing with. And if you is a sissy I bring truth, we salute that truth and move forward. And we don't ever complain about what and who you are and our business that. But don't impose. Don't get rude. Know your place. Stay in your lane. That's all it is. Because all kind of universal laws are in place for say nature is this way. And when man go against nature, they go against that order. You understand? And that is between them and them maker, them and them creator. But don't bring it in front this king. Don't try it. You know you stay away, we give you beer, love, respect and honor because we know that divine spark is there. We know that. Outside of that, don't mess around. Because laws are already set in place for the things that will go against nature, so don't mess around. <laughs> Free dominion. Free dominion. Freedom. Them thing we are dealing with that. Yeah man. Not necessarily, you know, the back and forth. We know it can be entertaining. We don't mind entertain. But make we entertain with some message. So when people are laugh, they must still get the message. When people are joke around and find this and that funny, they must say, boy, I got a message in it. Listen to our go on. Let's do that then. Yeah, man, we can do that. Anyway, people. Now, for just go and beat Bob Marley, you know? Because Bob Marley sings some tune from them time there. 
and the tune them still relevant to this day but through everything commercialized down to them messenger become commercialized you know what i mean so the message is lost upon the people you know what i mean only through everything is swallowed up by this commercial system so met bob marley tell the eye them from that time till now you know Bob Marley, I make the whole world know that so Babylon system is a vampire. Hear the Lodge apartheid, hear the Freemasonic apartheid, hear the secret society apartheid. When the king, reggae king, Bob Marley, come here to give them under them credit and honor, irrespective of the message nation we bring him forth. For I'm not pure blood like I. This is why the thing they change and get commercialized. But when Bob said Babylon system is the vampire, the people that know so the system is the commercial system. Pay attention. It is the commercial system. See? Because that is the thing we are suck. The life source of my people. Then. You understand? Everybody when me know we engage in a commerce of some form of debt. Once them graduate school, just by going to school, you've got you gone in a commerce. Cause once you left the primary school where you should go free and not pay nothing and gone up to the university, right there, a whole different world you know. Cause all them can do is teach you how to function, how not even function, how to operate within the commercial venue, the commercial arena. So once you're in the university, you know, say, boy, that's what you think there. When you have alternative information or you're open in the mind, you're receptive to alternative views and start, you know, say, bring closure to enough of what has been taught within your curriculum at any one of these universities, then you get exposed to a different set of information a whole different world. And for the people them um, will elevate themselves to that level and make that transition there. And still a function in the commercial arena. These people are the people will salute. Because these people are the people who will learn a whole bunch of things from. This is why I'm not come out here like me, it's just a racist. No, I just have my own society. Why did I have my own? Listen, me that for create an area where we can invite people by way of their own consent to be a part of whatever information I'm sharing within this area called Awak Indian Nation. And as such, whatever go on within this information area, when I share it I'm, and even my court people and all of my information, my public servant have access to it. Every single thing when I drop in on my group chat, my public servant them have access to it. Yet, because I care people within my jurisdiction, within my verge, not when me say within my little group chat or on a recording, cannot be used against me, not kind of court of their administrative, you know, say venue. Not, not all. So this is why we say our own society, our own specific society, it's nothing crazy. It's no cult and salute to the Jamaican Prime Minister, Andrew Holiness. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think Andrew Holiness I call me intellectual. And may I say, it's a beautiful compliment from the Prime Minister if I'm really a direct them energy there towards this Nestorian king. Because I know can't mention me in the public. None of them never dare try that. <laughs> And that's the funny thing. Yeah, man, all of the so-called vlogger them, them will show up. Images of Bojo Banton and all of these commercial figures. But make them try nothing with I, know, and see how quick them things shut down. People don't realize these things. People don't ask questions. Oh, never hear Nestorian. Oh, never you know, read a talk about this man where 
having own license plate on car. Oh, wait. And you people are missing it. I'm the only one with it. I'm the only one who have proof of it. This is why I'm in court. Ask the people why I'm in court. Ask the people why I go back and forth at court. Ask the government of Jamaica why Chief, Chief Judge Chester Brooks give me a psychological evaluation and him just give me a little written one on me can go see Dr. Wu right over there in Pines in Portmore. Right where Dr. Wu has an office, right there in Pines. When Dr. O pick up any kind of medication, Dr. O go up to Ligony Pharmacy. This is the information we're keeping the people. And I totally underestimate me. And I totally underestimate we the people. There is absolutely no way you're not going to live on this island and think you're secluded. It is impossible. Why? Because you don't want to wash up on your own self, you don't clean on your own house. You understand? On a cut on own grass, on always have to employ my people. So the moment on have to employ my people, me have access to all our people easily. So when Dr. O have an office in a Pines in Portmore, where I live in Portmore, come everything for me public. Me, I'm one of the only man when I hide this king now. I they get me. And Chief Judge said, watch your 45 days in a general penitentiary, people. Let me tell you something about prison. I personally, no, I'm not send, wouldn't send my enemy. I wish prison for my enemy, truly. But I must say this, the experience of me getting a GP, I'm disappointed. Yeah, man, when I go look for prison, man, I'm disappointed, man. Boy, I'm I tell you, yeah. I be a sissy. All man was supposed to be big bad man or some big sissy in a prison. And a them thing that disappointed. Man can't hold them on. Man can't hold them ones. Yeah, man. And when I see some warrior in there, hold them ones, me have to say what you mean. Real warrior, irrespective. Yeah. And I know, sir. So is a man like I, I know them pressure the people that I know at a certain point, but when I don't pressure my people, I'm not people. Because if I pay attention, the people that I link in my prison, they don't necessarily have no secret. I don't know what kind of people I'm is. So if them people that want to link with all a king like me, I don't know if I correct them people that want to correct themselves. Because I don't care how much killer he is. When you come around me, you yeah, say, boy, watch your king. I throw down my crown on your foot. I put my crown on your foot, king. And I hold that universal order. Yeah. So I clean up myself. So when King David go out there and judgment someone, and he say, Mosai of nature, I creator, is only you. You want to think that mean? So we always leave room for improvement and room for disappointment. And I re let me reiterate this. It's so when I don't want a leader, just look in a mirror. And when I don't want to find on a God, do the same thing. Look in a mirror, man. And take on a time step by step. Now put my trust in a just in a man. You get me? Because all men are fallible. All man, and I put your trust in a religion. You get me? God, the ancient paleo Hebrew writing, the ancient American paleo tongue, that shamatic shamite tongue. All of them Hebrew writing there say everything right now is out of course and corrupt. So even when a man come with rapid and big long gown and I say my high priest, when all a man like me look through them, I say all the way, you know, them probably I try hid. And if them can look through eye, them I go say anything when me have what me I say, boy, this is what me I deal with. We not have a front. I could come with truth. Yeah, man, it's not about. Your personal way you had said, boy, you know, you like this and you like that. No, that's your, your business, that man.
is when you bring that out on the front and I say, boy, all I will for like the things that you like. That that that, that are problematic. That's where the problem arises. Free will is just that. Allow man to exercise them free will. And the moment you are not doing any wrong, you now bring no damage. You now bring no what is known as harm. Then you should be okay to exercise your free will. You get me? Yeah, man. And when people talk, when they hear me talk some things, you know, but I know it go over on the head. I'm going to reiterate them things. Yeah, it's okay to renounce the AK Jamaican citizenship. It's really okay. I have done it and I've not fallen off of, the, off of the face of the earth. You know what I mean? It's just that I'm not going to just load up a whole heap of yip yap yap anymore because so much people out there not really mean we're not good, even when they're of our house, of our bloodline. And of our kind. Yeah, man. Due to the assimilation into other different things and religion, they have spoiled. Most of them not choose to come back home by their own very choice. They are stuck in that religious capacity, in that religious matrix, and totally ignore nature and the spiritual concept of nature. Even when they must say, yo, me not eat meat. Me a vegetarian, yeah. but you serve a, a, a meat eating God. You don't know nature. Because you think nature uncle have trees, then nature not have bird and bees. <laughs> nature not have all kind of food in the seas. Then isn't that a part of nature? So always you are going to restrict the people and say this and that. But we have to do is get away from the commercial products. And that bring us on. Everything and anything that's commercial. Those are the things that bring us, you know, destruction. Um, and don't just take my word for it. Don't take my word for it. Just go and go check. That's why we love say, philosophical reasoning. It doesn't mean say, boy, I may try to take nobody down the road to lead them somewhere. Pay attention. I show no everything so I can choose. Because when I do it, when I choose. You get me? I cannot lose. I already win. Just being here speaking to you guys, it's an absolute victory. I only can't get it. You get me? I'm going forward, I might just do something. You just know, say unorthodox again, just to demonstrate this freedom. Yeah, I might just do something a little bit unorthodox. <laughs> yeah. What have you done, Mr. Big Platform? Really? What have you done? If I'm going to come into your school, and pay a thousand dollars to enroll in the school for learn some things. Fine, I don't have a problem. I do that once I have those kind of resources. I'll even save up, just like me I plan for go college, I'll save up my money and know say, all right, this I for going to the university. I'm going to learn this thing. But you see, a man like me, more and more so the man where me I go learn from can express himself as a free man when no government guy, no government agency. No kind of government authority can lay them on on that kind of man unless that man has done something wrong. It's when them kind of man them want to learn from. Me don't want to learn from some man where you talk a whole heap of things and then some FBI and some secret service and some different man lock you up. And them now lock you up as a revolutionist because you speak some things like how oh, I speak. Them now arrest you for that. Them are arrest you for some other mess where a some secret. I don't really want to learn from you. Know? I want to learn from free man where you can chat like how oh, I chat. You get me? I have respect and know so we don't come out here for show off or be arrogant, but from we're free, not, not, not tell we say boy, we need permission. A man like me need licenses for what? If me I go engage in a commerce, you don't have to tell me some I need license. Me I come get my licenses. Come and know me I enter commerce. 
Simple. But when I'm not engaged and I have no interest in your commerce, oh, you're going to force me or coerce me. That's fraud. That's fraud. That's a crime. And when people move forward in a them kind of way, they're going to get violent, truly. Because you're going to see a man like me, where one does a pressure and a beat up and I tell me all kind of thing. I know I have the right to defend myself. And when one of come in front of me and start behaving appropriately, I'm going to just deal with them harsh. I'm not going to say, yes, I tell you, say, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. No, I have that right. I have that absolutely right to preserve this existence. Absolutely no more will no corporate construct write I or I people out of this history or their story. No time at all it will ever happen. It will never happen again. Why? Because I personally place documents on that record where stay on into perpetuity. It will never move. And I have the certified copy. What do you have? Huh? It's the big platform with your whistles and bells. Where you have out there? You think them books that we are writing, you know, see how much books we are read? No. How many books we are read? No. We are read some books we have 800 pages. And them kind of book that we read. Some book we write from up in the 16 and 17 hundreds. And them book that we read, we're not right where the CIA have to scrutinize and put out there. And I guess the funny thing that you want to commercialize. And when you commercialize, then you're in a different world. We, we deal with barter. We deal with trade. You know what I mean? Because we engage in a business with each other as American over this side of the continent. And if any corporate construct exists, then we're going to try drug win commerce. We just say, all right, no problem. We have an entity for that specific purpose. And we have created what is known as separation of entity, meaning the all capital name is separate and distinct from the, from the up and lowercase, you the living. So once you create those separation of entity, a step by step. Yeah, man. Commercial equals sold out. Yeah, man. I already discovered that commerce is the matrix. And uh, is a foreign thing. It's a Lucif Luciferian or a devil thing, really. That's what it really is. And then if the system employ people to participate within that very construct. And everything is either so fraudulent only because people are engaged without full and complete disclosure of what it is. People don't know. This is why them brag and laugh at us so we lost at sea. Yeah, man. Them say, hey, you lost that sea. You know what I mean? And start telling us that we are everything else except who we are. You know what I mean? And then give it every one of them different, different God. Everybody come here, give it one of them God. You know what I mean? And I try to pull we away from nature and nature's creator. Well, I, right now, in this era, I bring forth this universal order. You get me? Well, we are so watch out. We salute the creator of nature. Yeah, man. And nature not just mean leaf. So, we don't have to forgive that, those things. There's no partiality. So, I see a lot of man with hair, with tall, a rub on the ground. For some other reason, the information with them keep on at this level. And I see man with ball headed, the great things. So, image. It's just one thing. So we now glorify our worship image. When you are here, what you are here, that is called spirit. Yeah. And where it come from is called a temple. <laughs> yeah. So I, where you look upon, is that temple. Babylon, convert I temple. I try to carry it in a commerce and I call it a vessel. You get me? But this is our temple. 
Yeah, man. We are howls where you are here now. You get me? Which is the ancestral spirit where are animate I. And the compassion, that area there, around the some my soul, that man. There within I, it is intact. <laughs> the large member them now nah, break it down this way. And no Freemason cannot. I tell us I'm a chat to all heap of large people and Freemason. And, uh, and uh, some again, people where said them rich. People where everybody look up to. And when them done reason with me, them look for me and say, boy, my teacher talk about man like yo. We are more Freemason than we were there in here. So it's just that you not initiate. I'm discover why I'm said that is because of the knowledge where I'm on keep. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I just the knowledge for me keep. And them people what, 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 what me talk to, you know. This is why I say, I can't go war with my public servants. The people that I talk to are the same people that must sit down with the people that were in a courts. Same kind of society people. And you have some of them who just retire as a little man where I do my thing. Them call me sovereign man. And that them call me around here. Sovereign man. You get me? Them kind of old money there. A sovereign man, them call me. <laughs> yeah, man. So me I say, me not at odds with my people. Me say free will. If you want to go down the road to a Obia man and go Obia your neighbor for whatever the neighbor have, and you will do that with your free will choice. A year soul, I got down. You get me? A year pitney them, I got pay for that. So whatever immediate gratification where you get, whoop, I want a girl to move from my place. And you go to your Obia man and you go get your graveyard powder. Mix up with all kind of other things. And you go sprinkle it at the people and do away certain time of night. And by the time you say, oh, that is to the people, they might pack up and I run out. And you say, yeah, you get your immediate gratification. Then you know so there's a consequence for that. You never know. A free will choice on the make for bring earth and harm to people, you know. And when you see a picnic them kidnap and disappear and all kind of thing reach them, gunshot. On a ball, ball, Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. As if I never the same Lord, Lord Jesus Christ when it have within. Oh no, when I not going to commit evil. When I don't want this Nestorian king, because I lit some fire upon all of you. Because I'm afraid to lit up myself. You think I'm afraid to burn out myself and say, Watch ya, what that? So I'm not a problem, I say, Watch ya, sit shoot ya. No found on no a free will get on in a problem. Cause on a free will go get mixed up in all different kind of cult church. And on a free will give all our no resource and no energy to all these kind of cult pastors. And none of no can show a piece of paper with this cult pastor give you and say, watch your carry this go get to your workplace and tell them say them shit they not apply to me. No, 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 do that. No, no, call pastor and no, sit down and bust him brain for create some kind of thing for bring some kind of relief or exemption from your situation. But I'm this on no, a send for no energy. No, no, call the pastor is a big commercial slave and him there now on high order where all of the commercial people stay. Yeah, man, and it not care now. Race distinction because you have Chinese but go on that very same way. Not talk about the so called Hindu where they disguise themselves as Indians. Don't talk about those straight across the board. You gotta have good and bad straight across the board. And people where I say righteousness, you gotta know them and hear them. And the opponent of those kind of people, you shall hear them and you shall know them. This thing is truth in the earth. You don't need to go to university to break it down. That simply, this is the level. 
This is the level. Yeah, man. <laughs> Salut, gaming. Salut, 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 salut. Yeah, man. People have to make them own choice and we respect people free will. We don't mind a shine light out here. Yeah, man, I and I now for the great. But if I can be that spark for make any one of my people great, yeah, I'm in a mind. Willingly, freely. Yeah, man, that's called on me. Yeah, man, me not forget the notoriety. You get me? Just go on, go be great. So our progeny can have something for, you know, emulate. You know what I mean? And that's our thing there. We're not there for bash with brothers. We're not there for war with each other. But in a, any kind of situation, you can always have some way I call it. Lion. Yeah, man, a dragon. A man going to feel himself some more time. You know, you have to step up. You get me? I make the truth stand for dominant. That's it. Let's make the truth stand for dominant. Yeah, man. I am that self-proclaimed Nestorian king. Yeah, man. I now proclaim myself to be a scholar. So even when my prime minister view me as an intellect, yeah, that's natural. That's the level. And this is where we take our common people. Upon this intellectual level, nothing wrong with it. But when I purport to be a scholar, you know what I mean? Whatever you want to designate us as, that's fine. You know what I mean? If we feel label ourselves, hey, Nestorian king, are we that? Sovereign man, are we that? All of these terms are synonymous. <laughs> Free man. All of these terms are synonymous. Yeah, man. So we have to say give thanks. Yeah, man. We have to say give thanks. But for the big platform with a big fat man there, a little umpy dumpy man there, Bob Marley telling a plain and clear. Why well, am I tell you about the system, which is this commercial system where everybody fall in love with? Everybody is totally captivated and engaged. Yeah, man, in this system. And Bob Marley, I tell you, day in, day out, say, so watch ya. The system of commerce, man. Him just not sell apart there. At that time, they never view it from the level. Yeah. But commerce, yeah, man, the commercial venue. We refuse to be what you wanted us to be. <laughs> 